My name is Danica, I'm a contributing editor at Book Riot, and today I want to do a little bookish tour of my house. So I'm filming this a week in advance, so who knows what's happened in the meantime. But right now I am self-isolating. My world has basically shrunk to these four walls, so I thought I would show you around a little bit. I live with my partner who I met working at the bookstore together, so needless to say we are both book lovers, we both have a lot of books, and I think that in our house we have books in every room. So I'm gonna show you around and show you where all of our books are and how they are organized in the loosest sense of the word. I apologize for any messiness as well as any shaky camera work. I have no excuse for messiness, I've literally just been home with nothing to do for weeks. But am I caught up on dishes? No. I am not. All right, so I'm going to cut to showing you around our house, showing you the books that we have and where we keep them. So here we go. All right, so starting off in our kitchen slash dining room, this is Debbie who desperately needs to be outside even though I'm sure she was out five minutes ago. And this is our little selection of books in this room. So it's just half a shelf of books here with some cookbooks that are mine and some Star Wars books that are Ron's. And we have some decorations some board games. Here's Debbie again. Debbie, are you so sad? Are you always so sad? Yeah. <laughs> Over in this corner we have Ron's heavy metal magazines, and then I think some Conan comics, and a said Winnie the Pooh that has to be given to some relatives soon. Over on this bookshelf we have more board games, miscellaneous board games, and then at the top is my collection of The Ladder, which was a lesbian magazine in I think it was the 60s and 70s. It has a lot of lesbian book reviews in it, so this is the entire run printed in hardcover. It's my most expensive book slash set, and I love it even though when am I going to actually read this entire set? Probably never, but hopefully sometime. So here is our living room area. Obviously we've got a little selection of books here. Hi Lola! Hi Lola! This is Lola's favorite spot at the top of the couch. That's why our couch is so messed up now. We've got some little decorative books here. So in the background is a literary magazine that Ron helped start. And then we have the quotable Oscar Wilde and a book about how to be a good wife that I think was printed in the 20s or something. And then a book of poetry by Ogden Nash that actually got given to me by a student on my practicum on my last day, which was really sweet. And then next to it we have some some oversized books. So we've got some post secret books. Those are mine. And then I think the rest are Ron's. They're mostly kind of sci-fi fantasy books. And they're just ones that were too big to fit on the regular shelves basically. And then going over to the table, we have some more decorative books. So these are the bottom ones are Ron's Ralph Steadman books, a few of them there. And then they have my Douglas Adams Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy radio scripts on top of them. And then we've got actually a cassette audiobook of The Hobbit because our last car had a cassette player, but we never did listen to it in that car. And now we don't have a car with a cassette player. So I don't know when we're ever gonna listen to that, but that's why it's decorative on our table. And of course the most significant set of books in here. These are my unread books. So starting off with the top shelf here, these are mostly just oversized books as well as some non-lesbian non-fiction that I have. So I actually divide my books into lesbary books and non-lesbary books, so buying lesbian books and then everything else. So basically all of my unread non-lesbary books are just at the beginning of this bookshelf here. And then we get into lesbary fiction, and I have fiction and memoirs kind of mixed together, but they are alphabetical by author in here. More Lesbury unread fiction. And then on the bottom shelf, I have my unread Lesbury nonfiction. And then there's just a few more kind of decorative books scattered around. So we have our DVDs, and then a few just little decorative books that are Ron's. We even have books and magazines in the bathroom because of course we do. Then we have Ron's room. Don't worry, I promise I have permission to film in here. So books all over the place. Let's start over here. This is his nonfiction. So he's got his Lovecraft collection up here, and then just nonfiction by author in this little shelf here. So just the little shelf of nonfiction. And then a pile of books on the dresser that are in progress. And then the real highlight of the room, this giant wall of books. So at the top are some decorative book piles, some sets. And then it's just fiction by author. 
And we have some overlapping book taste, but he likes a lot of horror, sci-fi fantasy. So the majority of his shelves are those genres, and I sometimes steal from his shelves, but mostly I just try to make a dent in my own giant book collection. I'll just do a wide shot here of the last of his shelves. And then in our hallway, we have one more case of books. The top shelf are some gifts. So these are things that I've gotten from my nieces and then from a friend of mine. The typewriter was a gift from myself, really. And I've got some art from Megan Rose Gadry, who is a favorite artist of mine. She actually did the banner art for the Lesbury. And then some art from Melanie Gilman, who is another favorite artist of mine. And then this shelf is Ron's graphic novel and comics collection. This next shelf is my manga collection, so the Revolutionary Girl Utena and the Sailor Moon I've read. The other ones are unread. Got some more comics there. And the bottom shelf is my comics collection, and I've got some more Melanie Gilman, the smaller comics. And then we've got my room. Ignore the messiness and ignore the laundry on the bed. I'll start off with my dresser, and these are my kind of immediate to-be-read books. They are arcs for the most part that were sent to me, and they're the ones I'm trying to read ASAP. And this little stack beside my dresser is a new edition, and they are books that I've recently acquired. They're unread books, but that don't fit on my unread shelves, so they are living here until I can make some room for them. And finally, I have the shelves that you will be familiar with if you have watched any of my videos. These are the ones that I film in front of, and that's why my laundry basket is on my bed, because usually it lives here, but when I film, I have to put it on my bed. My house is not super conducive to filming it, and this is my very high-tech system to bounce light on my face because I have a window on one side. I put just this like dollar store white foam board on the other side and it works okay. At the very top of my dresser I have books that I am going to trade in and get rid of as well as a whole bunch of bubble mailers that I intend to use to mail out books. They are bubble mailers that my books came in when they were sent for review, the ARCs. So on the Lesbury Patreon I give away queer books so that's what this stack is in the middle. Some just general queer books to give away, most of them arcs. And the rest of the shelf is my shelf of shame, which is arcs that I didn't read in time. So now they are not really priority because it's already passed when they were published, but I do still want to read them because I committed to them. And now I just feel bad that I let them wait. So I'm hoping that this time in quarantine slash self-isolation slash whatever will allow me to get through these and finally conquer my shame pile. This next shelf is my lesbian literary criticism collection. So most of the these are unread. And this shelf is my lesbian pulp collection, so either true lesbian pulp or reprints or things that are kind of in that vein. And then we get into the true lesbian pulp books, which I just love. They are objectively usually terrible, badly written, homophobic, but I just love the covers and they're such an important part of lesbian literary history. And then we get into my red books, and I really only keep red books that I love and want to reread or want to lend to people. So this shelf is my red lesbary books, so buy and lesbian books. They are some of my favorites. You can see some of my favorite authors here like Sarah Waters. And then at the end, on the bottom shelf here, these are my favorite red non-lesbary books. And then in the very corner, I've got some Tamora Pierce Ex Library audiobooks on CD. So I think you have seen all of the books in our very bookish household. Let me know in the comments where you keep your books? Do you have books in every room? Or do you have the dream home library where they're all together in one place? Or are you someone who doesn't hold on to a lot of physical books? And just let me know how you're doing. Are you reading a lot? Can you not read at all? Are you somewhere in the middle? I spent a long time not being able to read at all even though I am stuck inside with nothing to do and I am starting to be able to read a little bit more but still not as much as I would expect to be doing when you're just stuck home. But anyway, that's my bookish tour of my house and thank you for watching.